moments of aggression mixed with a measured approach. Superb batting from McGrath. It's getting harder for Australia. Four for 52. Talia McGrath with a very important role to play now for Australia in trying to support Beth Mooney. They need a big partnership here. I remember India were on top. They had a lot of energy. We'd lost early wickets. I remember feeling pretty relaxed, to be honest, which was not like me at all, considering I hadn't really batted for Australia in a while. As I was walking out to bat, Moddy was sort of saying that this is your chance, go out there and do what you can do. 223 needed off 205 balls. Key players back in the pavilion. I remember Moon saying that we just consolidate a bit and then we grind out a few and then we just tried to strip it right back and set little goals so that it didn't seem so big. Cracked away by McGrath. She's taking it back to the Indian attack. I remember getting one out in the middle of the bat pretty early and that settled my nerves. That's put away nicely. Took on a few of the spinners. It's just something just clicked for me that innings and got on a bit of a roll. Well, it was a pretty daunting total, but Moons was awesome. Human calculator out there, and it didn't take us long to swing back the momentum into our favour and then go from there. That's a lovely looking shot. It's beautifully placed. That's an excellent shot. There's the single to bring up a maiden half century in one day international cricket. For Talia McGrath, what a timely knock it has been and what a classy knock it has been. I love batting with Moons. We both have different strengths, left-right-hand combination. We recognise each other's game quite well. She's pretty good at recognising when I'm struggling or when I might be about to play a stupid shot. So she's someone that I really enjoy batting with and it's quite nice that I got the best seat in the house watching her do her thing at times. So yeah, I've been lucky enough to have a few partnerships with her. Bang. Gra winds up, hits flat and finds a boundary. Yeah, there was high pressure, but we had a, a set total for the last 10 overs of how many we wanted to chase per over, knowing we still had batters to come in. And, and yeah, Nick certainly did that when she came on and finished off. So here it is. She hits it well. She's got the one. She's got the one. They're going for it. They've got it. Brilliant running. They hunted it and chased it. The streak continues. What a performance. I probably didn't realise it at the time, but that match really gave me the confidence, the self-belief that I belonged at that level and I could make an impact. That game was really the turning point and what set up a long 12 months for me.